Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Blessed Mother. I am Brother Peter Kim In Su, a member of the Prayer of Life group at Naju Shrine. My first visit to the Blessed Mother's house was on December 8, 1997. In 2004, while thinking about my vocation, my second eldest brother faced a great distress. After it was recommended for me to make a pilgrimage to Naju, which was said as the only way for me to live, I resumed my pilgrimage to Naju. So did my eldest brother. I didn't realize back then what a great blessing it was to pray all night with the Blessed Mother of Naju. In my human thinking, I disliked the long time spent in prayer while sitting with both my legs crossed in a cramped position. Nevertheless, I thought there must be something in Naju while seeing the many volunteers making pilgrimages there for over 10 years. So I resolved I will definitely attend all the prayer meetings on every first Saturday and anniversary for a year. When the first Saturday prayers finished, I would go to work by the pilgrimage bus. When I returned home from work that evening, I would already miss Naju, as if half a month had already passed, even though I returned from Naju that morning. One week before the prayer meeting, my heart would begin fluttering with the wish to go to Naju. My heart was so excited to go to the Blessed Mother's house. My heart was already changing. I missed the Blessed Mother of Naju without even knowing it. Meanwhile. I hoped to volunteer at the Blessed Mother's house and knocked on its door. It led me to move to the Blessed Mother's house around the end of May 2006. After about one month on the first Saturday morning while I was carrying on my duty at the Blessed Mother's mountain, Mama Julia came there for the preparation prayers. She scooped the miraculous water in a bowl and gave it to me. She sang her spiritual song with a smile, let's go to heaven together, let's go to heaven together. Her image is still vivid in my mind. I realized the Blessed Mother called me here so that I may go to heaven together with Mama Julia. I have received countless graces from the Lord and the Blessed Mother while staying at the Blessed Mother's house. As time is limited, I will give a testimony on the Eucharistic miracle Jesus in the Adoration Chapel and Jesus on Mount Calvary among them. On October 24, 2006, the samples of the precious blood of Jesus Christ were scientifically tested. A priest came to Naju and celebrated the Mass that morning. During the exchange of the sign of peace, the Eucharist descended. Mama Julia witnessed the precious blood flowing down from the seven wounds of Jesus on the crucifix together with a strong light and transformed into a Eucharist and descend. Mama Julia testified that Jesus in the Eucharist blessed all the volunteers attending the Mass and said, Peace be with you always. After making the sign of peace with the person next to me, I witnessed the Eucharist floating around 30 centimeters above the back of Mama Julia's head. This is what I witnessed in detail when I saw the Eucharist descend. Jesus in the Eucharist that was on pause in the air started to move from the moment I saw it. The Eucharist moved diagonally, lightly, from side to side, and descended toward the altar, which was seven meters in front. It was transcending the laws of nature. The Eucharist paused a little while 15 centimeters above the corporal, where the ciborium and the chalice were then rotated itself 180 degrees to the right and descended gently. Initially, I did not have devotion to the Eucharist, but after I witnessed this Eucharistic miracle with my own eyes, my heart headed towards Jesus in the Eucharist. In the spring of 2008, I was volunteering in the flower room. The flower room was at the entrance to the Way of the Cross on the Blessed Mother's Mountain back then. Around lunchtime on the first Saturday, I went outside to move the flowers to the altar in the vinyl tented chapel. Then I found someone praying inside the Adoration Chapel. There were about 10 
pilgrims praying outside the Adoration Chapel. As I got closer inside the Adoration Chapel, I found a man in his 40s wearing a shabby navy jacket kneeling toward the cross of Calvary and praying with his hands on the acrylic dome like the image of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. I thought it was strange since the doors of the Adoration Chapel were all locked at that time. But I just kept moving on and arrived at the stairway of the grass square. Then I thought I shouldn't just ignore the situation, so I looked back to tell him that he was not allowed to pray there. Then I couldn't find the man who was praying in the Adoration Chapel. As I approached the chapel, its doors remained locked, and the pilgrims around were concentrating on their prayers. I wondered if they had seen him or not. Was he Jesus? I thought to myself. This experience convinced me that Jesus and the Blessed Mother are near us and with us even if I cannot see them with my eyes. In the early days of volunteering in Nazu, I often visited Jesus on Mount Calvary after having lunch in the kitchen at the Blessed Mother's mountain. From a certain time, when I put my hand on Jesus' feet and prayed, I could feel his strong pulse. This experience continued every day for about 40 days. Once or twice, I doubted if the pulse was felt from my hands, not from Jesus' feet. As soon as I doubted, I couldn't feel the pulse anymore. I couldn't feel it the next day either, so I asked for forgiveness for my doubt. Then a strong pulse began to beat again at Jesus' feet. Through this experience, I believed that at this Naju Shrine, the Lord and the Blessed Mother are granting mercy and countless graces to their children and are with those who visit Naju. I was convinced that Naju is the shortcut to heaven where the Lord and the Blessed Mother are truly present. So I joined the Order of Mary's Ark of Salvation. Mama Julia's spiritual song, Let's Go to Heaven Together, Let's Go to Heaven Together, keeps ringing in my ears. Mama Julia offers her extreme redemptive suffering and pains to nurture us so that we may become little souls and to bring us all to heaven. I really can feel it with my heart, not just in my thoughts. O oh Lord, and Blessed Mother, I love you and thank you. I love you and thank you, Mama Julia. I return all the glory to the Lord. Amen.